spent the last couple of days in the pouring rain under extremely, extremely severe conditions. We had tackle problems, we had weather problems, we had everything, you name it, we had it. That sounded huge. Oh, oh, buddy, it's a big fish. It's got to be a big fish. Oh! Ah. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Nothing works harder than a ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Hi folks, this week Pete and I have made our way up to one of the most blue collar communities in the nation. We're in the town of Wabasca, Northern Alberta. And as you can see by these rigs beside us, we're in oil country. But we came here to fish for world class walleye and monster northern pike. And then all hell broke loose. Sometimes our best laid plans just don't work out. In this case, the heavens opened up and proceeded to unleash what the Alberta government called the worst flooding Alberta has ever seen. The damage is definitely extensive and just devastating. It rained on Monday, Tuesday. Every day we went out, but were forced back to camp. And we definitely didn't know if and when we could do what we set out to do, and that is shoot a show. Today there's been a break in the weather. With more than a little caution, we head out early to make a show. It's five feet here. Oh, he's off. <laughs> big pike? Big pike. No way. <laughs> On that big tube. He's got it. Oh, oh my. How in the heck is that possible? Here's another one. Here's another one. Hey? Another one's on it. Really? Take. Oh. Oh, no way. There. Oh. I see him? Yeah, just a small one. I pulled it off again. Okay, we've got to do something. I got to work this thing out. What's happening here? You can see all the teeth holes in this plastic. I mean, it's just full of teeth. Look at that. They're grabbing it and just holding on real tight with their with their teeth. And when you go to set a hook, here's what's happening. The hooks are down here. So we got to figure out how to get these hooks up here. Okay, so we're going to cut that lead completely. There would be no more lead here. I'm going to tie that right on to there. So the hooks will be completely inside the tube. So when the fish hits, it will, happen. it will hit the hook. And I will be happy. You will be happy. I will net your fish. He will be happy for sure. And uh, Bob will be your uncle. Bob might even be happy. And Bob would be happy. Bob, your uncle would be happy. Voila. Viola. That's what I am talking about, ladies and gentlemen. And now, brand new Waterwolf tube. Boy, these are nice tubes, by the way. And that's the deal right there. Oh, boy, that looks deadly. That looks deadly. That looks like it could hurt someone. You hooked that little dude? <clears throat> yes. I told you the next fish is going to get stung. <laughs> going to get hurt. I told you, didn't I? Hey? Uh... I told you. This is the new setup. It's a new world, baby. You watch me go now. Uh-huh. Look at that. He's hung. He's hung exactly the way he's supposed to be. That's the way it's done, right there. <laughs> there. I feel so much better. You have no idea how fulfilling that was. <sighs> Whoa. No, 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 no. I proved my point. Get off. Look at this. Now, now they're, they're getting stung. Yeah. Now they're getting hung. Well, you get it set up for it now, kid. Oh, yeah, he's really hung for sure now. Is that rain coming or I'm hearing something? That's rain. Oh, oh, buddy, it's a big fish. Oh! Ah, that's what we came here for. 
Fortunately, the sun comes up early and stays up late in this part of the world. It's our last day in Alberta, and it's gonna be a long one. We spent the last couple of days in the pouring rain under extremely, extremely severe conditions. We had tackle problems, we had weather problems, we had everything, you name it, we had it. Finally, last night before we went in, we found a couple of spots out here on these long weed points that come out into the basin of the lake. And the fish were literally stacked right on the end. So, uh, but we couldn't shoot because of the blowing winds. So we're hoping this morning under completely different conditions that uh, that'll hold, but so far. It's changed already. It's changed already. We decide to start with walleye and then move to pike as the water warms up. There you go. You got it. Be a Wally. Be a Walter. No. Yep. Yeah. There's our Decent first wally of the day. And that's right in the weeds, good. <laughs> right in the weeds. Good stuff, good stuff, not a bad fish. No. Do you wanna hang him up? Pull uh, him up I got pretty light another? line, buddy. Well, let me try it, let me try oh, it. Oh boy, here we go. Whoop, there we go. That's a good start, man. Nicely done. There should be hundreds of these in here. Yeah, this spot is a classic. Yes? Got something. He's shaking a lot, though. It is. Another walleye. nice walleye. Jeez. Nice walleye? Yep. I think we got them over the up, the up current, buddy. They've Whoa! Moved, they've, <laughs> they've moved way up, huh? Yeah, have they ever. Look at that guy. Nice. Drag him in. Look at there that dude. Go. Nice. I got my rod still out. Okay, go for it. Let's get on these guys. It's funny, you know, we're seeing these walleye all suspended down there, or whatever fish are out there. We come up the weed line a little bit from where we found it yesterday, and now we're seeing these fish on the bottom. And when you can see a fish, a nice one. fish that size on the bottom, you know, he shows up quite well. And it's just a hump or a lump on the bottom. And now we'll obviously sit on this area and work it hard. These fish just moved. That's all they did was move a little bit. They're aggressive too. When they take it down like that, when they take it whoosh, way down their mouth, you just feel it. It's either a pike or a walleye. I mean, a lot of times out here, you're gonna, you don't know what you're gonna get. But when you get that thump on the walleye or hitting it that hard, that means they're aggressive. That one? Yeah, it's a walleye. Nice. Not, okay. Not Good. huge, but I think they're walleye on that bottom. I think they're. Uh, I think they're all down there sleeping. Buddy, there. there's a beautiful marks down there. I think it's going to take some convincing to get them well, to get see. them to bite. A little bigger. And the lead line. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. They're getting better. They're getting better. There you go. Nice. But when that you can little, uh, set, set oh, a jig into those straight up, eh? that is cool. It's so neat when they just stay down. And you can pretty much tell the difference between the walleye and the pike bite, right? Not yeah. the bite, but when you, as soon as you feel that head As soon as you boom, feel it, boom, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. yeah. Hey, that feels all right. Nice snag. Good one. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice walleye. walleye. Beautiful walleye. Nice. Hang on. Beautiful brother. walleye. And he tonked it nice, man. Ooh, he ate it good. He ate her good, but just in the roof of the mouth. Easy, buddy. See you, pal. Perfect. That'd be oh, delicious. I can taste him now. Oh! I can taste it now. That's better. That's what we're looking That's for, right there. That's the ones there. we saw last night. That's him, right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we were getting Boy, last those night. Nice. Those are big, thick fish, too. 20, 24 inch? Yeah. That's nice. Whoa. I'd say pretty much. Whoa. <laughs> Give him a cast. <laughs> those are fun fish. I love big walleye. Whoa. Got him. <laughs> Look how thin he is. Big one. Long that's fish. That's a big walleye, buddy. Wow. That's what we came here for. That's what we come to Alberta for, right there. Wow. I can't get over how thin he is, yeah. Big head. Look at the broad, broad neck on him. Good fish. Wow. That is what we need right there. Big pike and big walleye. That is a blast. Good stuff. <laughs> Whoa. Off he goes. Oh, oh, buddy, this is a big fish. Whoa, baby. Oh, yeah. That's the big boy. Oh. That's what we came here for.
After an incredible rain-free morning of walleye, we pushed further into the weed bed in search of pike. We know there's some absolute monsters hiding in the weeds. Ooh, 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 oh my. Oh my, Angelo. That ain't your, just your little average run-of-the-mill snake there, my friend. I don't think so. No, that's a good fish. No, he's not, yeah, he's all right. Is he? He's not huge, but he's all right. Net worthy? Oh, he'll be net, for sure. Oh yeah, he's all right. I'll let you mess with him. Oh, jeez. I don't want to mess too long because he's on this little thinny, skinny stuff. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. I'll bring him up to you. Thank you. Thank you. Nicely done. Beautiful. Nicely done. That's a nice little jig fish. Nice. No loss to the jig. Now, that, 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 there's what's amazing about pike, okay? You can fish them with great big, huge baits. Yeah. Or you can catch them on that little tiny little jig. And we've got a lot bigger than this on tiny jigs. There you go. Not bad. They're so good. That's a great fish. Not there. bad, buddy. Got a big scar on them? Yeah. A lot of them do, huh? Because these guys fight for their life every single day. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, when they pop, you just boop. First, you know, you, you, we saw them do some swirls and Typical. curls and that. Typical. So it looked like a small pike, but then all of a sudden you feel that one. Whoop, then you, go, you okay. know. Then you know. Then he's bigger. Wow. Maybe I can get one now? <laughs> that one was That's big. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, drop us out this way. I don't think it's big. No, it's not. He's just weak. Oh, 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 yes, he is. Yes, he is. Coming in real nice, isn't it? Yeah. Like, there he is. I just. Oh. Oh. Yeah, baby. Look at him fight that water. Oh, oh yeah. man. Make us see how big he is in the back? Yeah. Like he's a he big is short and stocky for sure. Oh, oh I love oh. that. I love that. The big ski. Come on, buddy. Skating across the top. Coming at you. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you watch. This fish should be heavier than you think. You know what? He's heavy, but look how short he is. Oh, geez. Buddy, that's got a lot of meat to him. <laughs> that fish is really thick. All right, settle down. Hey, give me my bait back. <laughs> He's there you go. I'll hold this up for a minute. Look at that. Short and stocky. <laughs> Short and fat. And tough. And the tough. Pull, I mean, on spinning gear, the, the drag oh. you get ripped out of you. Well, when you set the hook on something like oh, that, man, that, that, I just that, saw that's it. Was solid. Your rod just now, would you, out. could you do me one little courtesy? Yeah. Well. Can you see if you can get my bait out of his mouth? Oh, he still has it? Yeah. The hook came out, the jig oh. came out, but he's oh, got the got bait the... in there. Hang on here. You see it in there? Yeah, but he's not going to like that I'm going to do. Uh, oh, I know. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> I need it. It's the only one I had. Uh, <laughs> okay. Too funny. Watch your rod. Yeah, yeah ready to go. Today's hotspot is a large weed bed along a steep break on Alberta's Wabasca Lake. The waypoint on your screen will get you right there. This is a classic example of what it takes to attract walleye and big northern pike. Green healthy weeds, fast access to deep water, and a ton of bait fish. For walleye, fish the open water drop off at the outside edge of the weed beds with quarter ounce jigs tipped with three inch white or yellow Yamamoto grubs. Or, move into the weed beds and short cast to the open pockets. For northerns, change to braided line and rip jig a stout 3 8 or half ounce bucktail jig. A word of caution, when a big northern hits that bucktail, you better hang on. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. Smaller. Walleye. Yeah. Walleye on that big jig, buddy. Nice. I mean, look at the size of that That's jig. A big jig. And he just smacked it. I thought I had another pike on. But it's a classic weed but, walleye bait, right? A, yeah. a bucktail jig. Well, you know, a bucktail jig has been around for Pete. I mean, it's probably one of the first. Oh, God. Really, one of the first man-made lures. Yep. Um, Absolutely. We've gotten away from it the last couple of years. Well, I say last 20 years. Got more to uh, plastics and rubbers and whatnot. But I, I got to tell you, every time I put a, a, a jig on like this, I feel good about it. No. Oh. <laughs> Big bite. 
Oh yeah. Bike? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure, bike. Swimming with us. He might be real big. He's he's holding down nicely. Nice. Well, take your time with the bike. It's a nice one. Oh boy. Oh Is buddy. He in? You're okay. You're okay. You might have to come up. There, he went out. Take him around, he yeah. went out. Nice. That's a big bike. Whoa. Go <laughs> I'm gonna spin him around here. Oh, he did a little sidewinder on you. Wow. There you go. Nice. Nicely done, buddy. Oh, on spinning that's gear. A beauty fish, that. Whoa, that that's what we're looking pike. for. Buddy, that's a pretty darn good pike right there. When you're fishing walleye off a weed bed, you know they're here. That's fun. On spinning gear. I got 30 pound, I think it's around 20 or 30 pound braid tied direct to the jig head, so, but he takes that jig in his mouth, it's gone. They slice braid like nothing too, so what a great fish. Big dog, I'm going to slide you out. Up you go, torpedo. <laughs> there he goes, there he goes. Come on, poof. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he hit and came t towards me. Bike? Yeah. Whoa, oh, good one. Oh, I'm gonna baby. Motor. I'm letting the motor go. Whoa, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the big boy. Look at him going in the weeds. Oh, him rip. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh my God. Can you, uh, if we keep going here, I'll try and catch up a bit to him. Look at him ripping up. Look at this weed. Look at the weed I on my line. Look at this. I love that. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh buddy, this is a big fish. Good. It's gotta be a big fish. He is just cutting through those weeds. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nice looking fish. Look whoa, at those things bite, eh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at those things bite. That is so cool, all the weeds. We're gonna scoop up salad, <laughs> fish, we're gonna scoop up everything. Oh, he's got it wrapped around. Oh him. boy. Yes, sir. Nice dive. Nice Woo. job. Whoa. That's a that is a solid fish, buddy. On a bucktail jig. On a bucktail. As soon as we come in on as soon as we come in on top of it, eh? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Don't slay me with him. <laughs> Nicely done, bud. That is awesome. Look at that right there. That is meat. He has got something in his gut right there, and he's eating more. It's been an incredibly long day. 18 hours of sunshine, tons of Alberta giant walleye, some monster pike, all under the biggest skies you've ever seen. We nailed it. The best fish in Canada. Yes, yeah, Gandhi. <laughs> Woo! I won't slime you. Thank you! To get to today's great Alberta walleye and pike fishing, we first flew from Toronto to Edmonton. We then drove north on Highway 2 to the town of Athabasca. Next, we took 813 north to our accommodations, the Norelta Lodge in the town of Wabasca. This is a very unique mobile facility that offers all inclusive lodging, making it the perfect home base for a traveling angler. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Sail, the Outdoors Superstore, Coleman, the Outdoor Company, Muscal, proudly Canadian since 1951, Cooper Tires, life's a road trip, come on, let's go, and Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Bye.